Hey guys, we're the Downies and you're our family and today we're doing another video! <laughs> okay. So, today it's just gonna be me. Wait, give me a second. Wait. Not just me, CC too. Okay, so it's gonna be me and CC, right? And we're gonna do 20 things I love, right, CC? Right? No, she's just really sketched out for some weird reason. Okay, so, <laughs> so number one thing that I love the most, my mom. <laughs> she. <laughs> I told you that's why you should be in this video. <laughs> Thank you. I can't come over there. You come to me. Oh! <laughs> that's why I can't come over there. She's climbing down my shirt again. Okay. Um. Number two is food. I mean, it's obvious to tell because I'm a little chunky, but you know, food is like my best friend. Well, my second best friend because my mom's my first best friend. But food is my best friend. Okay? Number three is my bunny because she's like the cutest thing ever. Aww. Number four is my laptop. I use it every single day. Um, since my mom bought it for me, I love it. Just like I love my bunny. Um, number five is music. I love music. Number six is singing, because I love to sing. Number seven is dancing, because I love to dance. Number eight is acting, because I'm a drama queen and I love to act. <laughs> number nine is friends, because I love my friends. Number 10 is makeup. I love doing my makeup. Number 11 is my nails, because I love having fake nails. It makes me not want to bite my nails. <laughs> <laughs> Number 12 is new news. My cat, one of them, because she's my baby. Number 13 is Oreo, my other cat, because he's also my baby. Number 14 is school because I love school. Like, I just love to go to school. I don't know why. Number 15 is jewelry because if I don't wear jewelry, then I'm naked. Uh, number 16 is hot Cheetos because, I mean, your girl gonna kill for those hot Cheetos. Number 17 is Facebook because I love Facebook. Number 18 is Instagram because I love Instagram, the double tap feature and everything, yeah. Number 19 is Musical.ly, I mean I do have like 700. Number 20 is the last one. And everybody that has me on Instagram or Snapchat will be like, yep, yep. So, I love the dog filter. It's an obsession. It's become really bad, and I think Oreo is like, yes, to the point he started meowing at me. <laughs> and I mean, Cece just wants to jump onto the table. <laughs> um, but, yes, I love the dog filter. And I know, they're all like, you betrayed me, because I don't even have a dog. But, you know, I love the dog filter, and it just makes me look better. So, like, dog filter this. <laughs> yep and lit time so that is the video actually i'm gonna do 20 of my pet peeves so i have a list here of my 20 pet peeves so let's get to it my first is when people correct me like it can't just be spelling correction it's also how I pronounce things. Like, if I want to stay, oh, she stole that, I can say that. Or, if I want to say, 
Saskatchewan instead of Saskatchewan, okay? <laughs> then I can say that. I'm allowed to say what I want to say unless it doesn't hurt anybody. And I ain't hurting nobody by saying what I want to say, okay? Number second one is bullies. Number second one. <laughs> Mom, don't you correct me. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was cute. Okay. Number second one. <laughs> Stop laughing. <laughs> How do you find that funny? I think I was carrying CC. Okay. Number second one is bullies. Stop laughing. I hate bullies, okay? CC, you're putting your hand on the table. <laughs> okay, I hate bullies. Let's get straight to the point. I've been bullied my whole entire life, and I just hate them. I, I don't know. I hate them with a burning passion. I, I, I just think it's uncalled for. Agreed? Agreed? Everyone agreed? Yep. Yep. Okay. Number three. I hate when people disrespect teachers. Like, I get if the teacher's just being a complete jerk, but if the teacher's not even doing anything, like, so say it's a supply teacher, you just take advantage of them. I just think it's really dumb, and, like, you should respect all teachers because, I mean, they're just there to teach you. Like, they're there. They didn't. They don't even get paid enough to take care of you because we're all butt, buttholes. It just, it, it, it. Okay. <laughs> you okay? My bunny has Tourette's, guys. <laughs> I'm literally not even doing it. She's, like, flinching so much. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Number four. I hate when people talk crap about other people for no reason. <laughs> Man, you need to be in all the videos, CC. <laughs> she scratched me. Getting her ten minutes of fame, guys. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I hate people who talk crap about other people for no reason. Like, if they haven't done anything, and you're just, like, saying stuff about them, it's just kind of, like, dumb, and I don't think that there's no point of it. Like, but, like, it's different if you're just sticking up for yourself. Then I get it. But, like, if somebody's just starting stuff for no reason, then I don't get the point. Number five, I hate fake friends. Like, I've had a lot of fake friends. Like, I can't tell you how many I've had because I've had that much like people who are gonna like stab you in the back and who are never there for you like that's a fake friend you better be getting lost over there girl cuz you ain't on my level you need to get on my level but you never gonna get there okay <laughs> wave to the haters wave to the haters Okay, number six. I hate people who criticize makeup. Like, not just my makeup, because my makeup always looks good. But, like, I mean, like, if you're just going to criticize, what's the point? Why do you got to say anything? If you don't got anything nice to say, don't say it at all. Unless you're me. <laughs> I feel like I think I'm so rude. <laughs> oh, um, but, like, I don't criticize anybody's makeup because, like, people do things differently. They, they, some people just put white here. My mom, like, my mom's good at makeup, but she doesn't do a lot with her makeup. And I don't criticize her for it. Although I may look at her sometimes and be like, girl, you need to put more mascara. Girl, you need to put darker eyeliner. Like, nope, nope, I'm, I'm not going to criticize her. Because she's my mom and I love her. And Cece, stop being Tourette's. Okay. <laughs> she just shoves her face into my hand. Okay, number seven. Sexist guys. And by that, I mean guys who can't call. I was like, what's the point, dude? I'd really like to know. Like, why are you talking to me? Did I say you could talk to me? No, I didn't. So don't talk to me. I don't want you to talk to me. I don't like you. You're a weirdo. Leave me alone. 
just, just, yep. Number eight, I hate homophobes. Oh my gosh, you don't even know, like, if they want to do whatever they're doing, they want to marry the same sex, let them. Like, if they're happy, they're happy. Like, leave them alone. Like, stop being a little jerk face who says you ha deserve to have opinion. If your opinion is hurtful, you don't deserve to have an opinion. I'm sorry, you don't. You really don't. It's none of your business. If it's not you, then why should you care? Number nine. People who make bad choices, as in people who do drugs or, like, are alcoholics, I just don't think it's good. Like, I mean, I don't mean, like, smoke, well, smoking is bad, but, like, I don't mean, like, smoking and, like, marijuana. I don't mean that, but I mean, like, people who, like, do heroin and stuff. Like, that is bad. And people who constantly drink and like not I don't mean happy people that are like oh yeah drinks woo I mean people who get aggressive I hate people that make bad choices so I mean number 10 people who are rude to the homeless <sighs> okay yeah I, I understand that some of them may can, can get a job but it's harder to get a job in this city than you think it is, so... No, they can't just get a job. Okay, CC, you're like... You're, you're playing with me here and I can't, like, fix you. There we go. Mom's looking at me like she's about to shoot to kill. <laughs> okay. Oh, she's giving the camera a nice stare down right now. Mom, look at this. She's looking right at the camera. She's like, hey, guys, what's going on? I'm just chilling. <laughs> yep. Okay. Um, number 11. Um, people who use technology constantly, like, not like me. I'm not, like, if someone's talking to me or I'm with my friends or, like, I'm in class. I'm not on my phone most of the time. Like, I'm not on the phone when I'm talking to my friends and when I'm hanging out with people. When I'm talking to my mom, I'm not always on my phone. And I'm not obsessed with my phone. I could live without it, to be honest. But people that use it all the time and that are, like, obsessed with it and won't even put the phone down for, like, two seconds, they make me kind of, like, angry at them because, like, I just want them to, like, pay attention to a conversation for, like, at least 3.5 seconds, and nope, it, nope, that, they're, like, too busy on their phone. Number 12, catfishes. I hate people who are, like, catfishes. So, like, they're photoshopped. All their pictures are, like, of somebody else, and they claim to be that person, and, like, it's just dumb. Like, why can't you just be yourself? It's, like, like, what's the point? Um, number 13. I don't hate, like, I hate the word popular, but, like, I don't hate the word itself. I hate if somebody puts me in the category of being popular, because I don't want to be called popular. When I think of popular, I think pe of people who are ignorant, rude, and, like, are, like, oh, yeah, like, don't even talk to me. Like, you're not cool enough. Like, who are rude to people that are, like, have less friends. Like, that's, that's... No, I don't want to be categorized as that. I'm not popular. I just know a lot of people. There's no reason why somebody should say that I'm popular because I just know a lot of people. I'm not popular because I am not ignorant and I'm not rude. Just say. Um, I hate people who call me extra. Yeah, I'm extra. I'm extraordinary, okay? And that's something that you will never ever be called because I'm too cool for school. No, not literally. I mean, like, I'm too cool for you to even get on my level, okay? Like, people call me extra because I'm always happy and, like, I'm, like, so giddy and fun and, like, laughing and, like, ha ha ha, everything. Even in serious moments, I just find that. I laugh at things, and it just sometimes pisses people off. But that's just my personality. If you can't deal with it, don't don't deal with it. 
that's probably part of the reason why you hate me right now because I'm too extra like girl I'm extraordinary what you gonna do about it that's what my mom taught me how to be okay you can't blame my mom for what she taught me okay number 15 I hate cliffhangers I think everybody in the whole entire world is with me on this one like Man, why can't you just tell me what happens? I, d I don't want commercials in my way. Or I don't want it to be like next time on The Bachelor. Blah, blah, blah. Like, no. You better tell me if they kissed or not because I want to know. Okay? I need all the juicy details. You can't keep them from me. It's not okay. Thank God there's a thing called fast forward. Just saying. Number 16. I hate the show Sister Wives. Like, I hate it. Like, it's... I hate it with a burning passion. Like, like if it was a person, I would murder it. Because, like, I hate it so much. Like, it's the worst show ever. Well, it's not the worst... Not that it's the worst show. Like, I'm not trying to diss anybody. But I used to get forced to watch it with my grandmother. And, like... <laughs> she had, it's not, like, I, I just don't even know. I, I'd rather watch Max and Ruby or something than watch that show. <laughs> like, I can't. Oh, my God, Mom. No. <laughs> um, number 17. I hate nasty food, and I hate when people try to force me to eat nasty food. If I don't like something, I'm not going to eat it, okay? Do you want me to throw all up over you? I'll, yeah, I'll eat it, and then I'll throw it up on you, okay? Because that's what I think it tastes like. Like, nasty food is not okay. Why can't you just make, like, tacos like my mom does, okay? Jeez. <laughs> like, this is not okay. My bunny is, like, crazy right now. She keeps on, like, trying to jump out of my arms. Okay. Number 18. I hate people with no manners. Like, man, sometimes I forget to use manners. But at least I have a little bit of manners. If a person gives you something or, like, you're eating at a table, like... No, you need to, like, have manners and say thank you and please, or please and thank you. Like, no, like, you need manners, okay? Like, common decency, peoples. Number 19. I hate people that talk crap to your face but are, like, scared of you. Like, they won't do anything. Like, why are you going to say something and then not do it? Like, I'm not afraid of anybody but my mom, because my mom's pretty scary at some moments. She scares me. She's the only person that does scare me, bes besides um, besides Slender Man. But, you know, yeah, that's a whole other story. <laughs> um, but, like, I'm not scared to get beat up, and I'm not scared to defend myself. I just hate people that say that they're going to do something and then don't do it. Like, somebody saying, oh, I'm going to punch you in your face. And then you say, like, okay, go ahead. And then they don't punch you in your face. And it's like, okay, like, where are you at? Like, what is going on? What's, are you bipolar? Like, what is going on in your mind right now? Well, oh, no. Like, no. Number 20. This is the last one. I hate dress code. Like, hmm. I cannot even tell you how many times I've been dress coded. And it's not that, like, I wear inappropriate clothes. Because I don't. I wear appropriate clothes that I think are comfortable. And if they weren't appropriate, my mom wouldn't let me go outside in them. Like, just saying my mom is, like, the strictest mom. Well, she's that's a good thing. But, like, she's strict. So, if I was wearing something inappropriate, my mom would tell me. She would be like, oh... You're not allowed to go out that. You look like you belong on Barton Street. And then, <laughs> and then I'd be like, okay. And I would go change. I get dress coded a lot. And I tell them, like, take it up with my mom. She bought me these clothes. You take it up with her. Take it up with a boss lady, okay? I ain't, nope. And then I walk away from them. And the, then I get in trouble because I'm not listening. They call my mom. My mom says, what's she wearing? The, my mom, I, they say most of the time it's because I wear muscle shirts because I don't like wearing long sleeves or T-shirts that much. Yeah, I wear tank tops a lot. And they say, well, she's wearing tank tops. It's showing her shoulders. And my mom's like, shoulders? 
Shoulders. What is wrong with her shoulders? And she's like, nothing. They're just her shoulders. And my mom's like, oh, exactly. They're just her shoulders. Like, like what's the problem here? <laughs> I don't get it. Well, that's the end of the video. Um, like, comment, share, subscribe. Add me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Musical.ly. We appreciate all of you. And turn your post notifications on. Okay, what did you, did you just, did you guys do that? Did you just lick me? You licked me. You did. You licked me. Peace out. Okay.